Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to track or invoke some action whenever Salesforce messaging session record status is changed. So for example, here I created an object called messaging session status tracker. In this object, whenever the messaging session record is updated and especially the status field, then I am tracking it and then I'm entering those information onto this custom object. So this uh, messaging session record, the status was set as waiting next to active. And finally, the messaging session record was ended. Let's see how to track this or how to invoke an action to uh, do some business process whenever the messaging session record status is changed. We cannot write a trigger or a record triggered flow on the messaging session record to achieve it uh, because uh, this messaging session record will be routed via omni channel and uh, the omni channel will uh, have additional process where it will uh, not fire the automations what we have on the messaging session record. The same thing we had it with chat and even with other object. Um, so in order to achieve this, what I have done is I'm using a platform event triggered flow. In the platform event triggered flow, I am making use of messaging session status changed event. So this is a standard event which Salesforce provides whenever messaging session record is updated, especially the status this particular uh, standard platform event will be triggered. So whenever this is triggered, I am invoking this uh, platform event triggered flow. In this flow, I am making use of create records flow element. And then I'm creating messaging session status tracker, which is a custom object. The messaging session will be from the platform uh, event, standard platform event. I'm getting the identifier of the session. So this will be the messaging session record. And uh, I'm setting the status. The, it is a custom field. And this is also a custom field on the messaging session status tracker custom object. For this, I'm making use of the status of the session. Let's see this in action. As an agent, I'm going available in omnichannel for messaging. As an end user, I'm going to initiate a messaging session. So I got it as an agent, I'm going to assess the customer. So now if I go to this, I should be able to see two entries. So I'm able to receive the uh, I am able to see that in the messaging session was waiting for uh, an agent to pick it. Uh, since I was available as an agent, it got assigned it to me. So now the status is active. I am going to end it. So the agent should be able to see the status is ended. So now, so the platform event was uh, uh, triggered three times when the status was set to waiting, when the status was set to active, and as well as when the status was set to ended. It called this uh, create records flow element, and then it was able to create the records in messaging session status tracker custom object. You can make use of the same platform event triggered flow as a reference, and then you can do your uh, business use case using the right uh, flow element to invoke the actions and perform. And also we can track the status changes on the messaging session record. Messaging session record is used across multiple channels. For example, in this video, uh, we saw it for messaging for web channel. It is also used for SMS channels, Facebook, Apple Messenger, uh, um, and as well as for WhatsApp channels. So make sure 
uh, you are not uh, um, uh, considering those channels make sure you consider those channels when you try to develop something on this particular uh, uh, messaging session uh, status changed event uh, platform event i hope it was helpful thank you for watching